Time to add to our toolbox of knowledge. Now we already know how to drag out shapes onto the work plane. Now we're going to learn about modifying these shapes in different ways. So we have just a regular cube here, and it's a cube because it's the same on all sides, but we can change that. So let me point out a couple of features here. So we have these white boxes in the corners where you hover over them and you get the uh, dimensions. And if you drag on that, uh, that's going to change the scale. You can make it skinny or fat, whatever you want there. Uh, I'm going to click on undo to get back up to our square here, or cube. And then we have these uh, black squares in the middle, and that's just going to change things in one dimension instead of two at the same time. Okay, undo for there. We have these handles here, which are for rotation. So you see the rotation uh, handle and the compass there. And so we can lock to certain uh, specific dimensions or angles, I'm sorry. And we also have a white box at the top to change how high it is. Undo that. And this little uh, upwards facing arrow, that helps you move the design up and down. Okay, so we can move it up, we can go down below the work plane. Doesn't really matter, so I'll undo there. What we're gonna do is we're gonna make a treasure chest. And I will bring it up so it looks, so you can see what it looks like when it gets done. Okay. So, to get started on this design, first I need to make it a little bit shorter. Right now it's 20. I'm going to come down to 15. Okay. Then I'm also going to make it longer. So I'm going to orbit around to the side here. And I'm going to drag this out to be twice as long. Let's make it 40. Okay, so I was grabbing on that black box there to drag that out in just one direction. Let's bring out a cylinder. Now the cylinder is going to be the lid of our box. And so we need to actually rotate this. So if I look at it from the front, I'll be able to see that there's a rotation handle up by that top arrow and I can rotate this over to 90 degrees and I can make it 40 long as well. Now to move objects you can just click and drag them. Okay, So we're going to work on that. You worked on aligning things when you worked on the um, Minecraft pickaxe, so you should be you should be old hat at this. When you see the edges here and they kind of like flicker like that, that means you've got these two planes, these two surfaces that are lining up perfectly. So those are in the same plane. Now to make this the lid, we're going to raise this up. Okay. What we need to do is we need to raise it up really. Let's see, it's 10 wide, so we need to raise it up 5, and that gets us up halfway. All right? So that works out. Let's take a look at it from the right and from the front. There we go. And the top. Like I said, it's just important to check all of these different views to make sure everything looks like it's working out right. All right, we're going to learn now something new about how to change these. We need to make the bands, that uh, the iron bands that make a uh, treasure chest stand up for the test of time. So there's a couple ways of doing this. One is to go up here and click copy and paste. So you can copy an object. That's what I just did there. Then I can paste an object. And there it is. Paste it into the middle of the work plane. Okay. And so we'll we'll start our band doing it this way. Uh, now 
I want to scale this up evenly. Okay, so I, I want it to go longer and wider and taller all at the same time. And the way I do that is by holding down the shift key and then clicking on one of these corners and dragging it out. So I'm going to drag it out. Uh, it was 20 uh, millimeters in diameter before. We're going to make it 22 millimeters in diameter here. Now, I also need to make it shorter. So I'm going to drag it all the way to be two millimeters wide. So here we have this circle that's two millimeters wide. And now I am going to, I want to drag this in and I, it was already lined up properly um, to be, to go right straight on there. So I'm going to hold this down and I'm going to press the shift key as I move it. That guarantees that it's going to move in just one direction. Just forward or back, or in this case, right and left. So let's go in here and drop that. So the other way of getting multiple copies of things is to duplicate. So I'm going to click on this because I want one that's just the same. I'm going to come up here and click on the duplicate button. There we go. And now I can drag that, again, holding the shift key down. I'm going to drag that down to the other side of the treasure chest. All right, we need to do the same thing for the bottom. Let's duplicate that. Now, it doesn't look like it did anything, but it just, it just copy and pasted it in the same place. So we can go ahead and do like we did before and uh, shift drag shift click and drag so we've got 22 uh, millimeters wide which is great and here is why we want to uh, constantly look at what we're doing from multiple angles see it looked great from the front but then I come over to the side and I don't have the band in the back easy enough to fix so I'm going to click on that. I'm going to hold down the shift key and click on another object. And I'm going to click on holding down the shift key. I'm going to click on that. You can see they're all selected because they have this blue outline. So all of those are selected. And I'm going to click and drag one millimeter. See, now they're all lined up. Okay. So this, this box here is going to be uh, the band for this. Oops, still had everything selected. So I'll undo that. And to deselect, I'm just going to click off to the side. Okay, great. Now I'm going to come in here and I am going to grab these black handles and make the band for the front there. Hey, how about that? Okay, so let's do that again. Let's duplicate. And drag this one down, holding down the shift key so that it only goes in one direction. There we go. Uh, now we need to make a band that goes around the, the horizontally around the top here. So I am going to duplicate that. And now to avoid the problem we had before, when I scaled it up and it only scaled in one direction, we want it to scale in two directions, right? We want it to go. Uh, right and or forward and back and right and left so what i'm going to do is i'm going to not only hold down the shift key but then i'm going to press the command key as well or the alt key i'm sorry uh on a mat on a windows computer it's the option key so here i am and then what that does is that drags that out from the middle see okay so i need to make this 22 millimeters as well now here's a here's the thing i don't want to have it uh, longer than the box. So what? I, let's try that again. I am going to drag this out. Twenty-two millimeters, and then I'm going to move that in on that side, and move that in on this side. Okay. So we need to make this squat 
right down to two millimeters and we need to drag that up there we go so there we have a band on the front and back of our treasure chest it's not a treasure chest without a lock so what are we going to do we're going to drag out this box here and drop it right in front and i'm going to make it squat and that and there we go make it a box like that i think i want it to be five on all sides so do, do, do. Uh, five wide and two millimeters thick there we go and we're gonna move this up I'm gonna look at it from the front because I want to make sure this is right in center let's take a look at it from another direction see that we are doing this right and you can see oh oh I wasn't looking at it right so we've got to move it around we've got to move it back towards the box there we go how about that so we've got the first part of our lock going on drag out a cylinder and this time I want to rotate it in this direction 90 degrees and we're going to shrink that down and if you remember our lock box there was five millimeters wide so we need to go to a five millimeters wide there and it was two millimeters thick so we're going to match that. All right, so we need to start moving this. Ooh. Moving this around to match. And I'm going to drag it up. And I'm going to get closer. All right. Let's rotate around here and see what we've got going on. Oh, I still haven't got the box all the way back there. Okay, so just keep checking it from every angle. All right, so now let's make this look more like a chest by changing colors. Uh, if you watch the color for marbles, you've already seen how to do this. Um, I can see though that I want to change one thing here. I want to make this a little bit shorter. Ha! There we go. That looks better. So I'm going to change the color of these parts back here, these bands, to be black. Change the chest. Uh, let's pick this color brown. There we go, kind of a tan. Make these black. Make this a different color brown. Like that. Let's make these two things gray, and I can click on both objects. So I've got two objects selected. He says shapes two, and the properties uh, pop up. And I'm going to make that a gray. So there is our most excellent treasure chest. I'm going to come up here and change the name to treasure chest. And go back to the dashboard. And remember, sharing is caring, so I'm going to go into the properties. I'm going to change this to public and save changes. There we are. Now you've learned a lot of cool things about how to create designs in Tinkercad. Try your own designs. Click that Create New Design button and just give it a try. Go out, play, and have fun with this. Okay?